Lara Croft has been through a lot in five years. She's been impaled, caught in an avalanche, and nearly drowned in an ice cream truck. How have these experiences changed her as a character? Let's find out. <music> 2013's Tomb Raider introduced a Lara we'd never seen before. Instead of the gun-toting badass of previous games, Lara was a fresh-faced 21-year-old straight out of university. In search of the lost island of Yamatai, and against the advice of her expedition crew, Lara set course for the middle of the Dragon's Triangle, where obviously this happened. After washing up on shore, escaping the cave home of an unknown assailant, and being separated from her support network, Lara is faced with no choice but to adapt. Throughout her struggles on the island, the heir to the Croft fortune learns to hunt, craft, and fight. Every small win feels monumental, and every tough choice hardens the inexperienced treasure hunter. But as she explores more of the mythical island, her focus shifts from protecting herself to protecting her friends. This is a theme that persists into the second game, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Swapping windswept islands for snow-covered peaks, Rise of the Tomb Raider stars a more confident Lara as she searches for answers to the mystery that drove her father to suicide. Still shaken by the events of one year earlier, Lara pursues the lost city of Katesh and its promise of immortality. When an avalanche separates her from her expedition partner, Lara wastes no time in ensuring her survival. Where once hunting a deer was a foreign concept, now it's second nature. So too is protecting herself from the shadowy corporation Trinity, who are after the secret to immortality for their own, no doubt nefarious purposes. This Lara is more capable and logical too. When she's pursued by visions of a walking house and a floating witch of the woods, she never gives in to her hallucinations, instead constantly telling herself that it's all in her head and there must be a logical explanation. By the end of Rise of the Tomb Raider, Lara has made peace with the events on Yamatai, become a capable hunter, linguist and fighter, and is driven to find the truth about Trinity's intentions. Which brings us to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow's Lara is solely focused on stopping Trinity and their plan to set the apocalypse in motion. Attacking from the shadows is this new Lara's MO, as she tracks what she believes is an imminent threat, but that threat might end up being Lara herself. Early on, Lara sets a series of events in motion that will have repercussions for the entire world. This is a darker, more morally ambiguous Lara, who must face the consequences of her actions, and whether everything she's done in her single-minded pursuit of the truth was actually right. To find out who Lara is at the end of her long journey, we'll have to wait until Shadow of the Tomb Raider is released on September 14th. Until then, check out the first 15 minutes and what's new in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And don't forget to stay tuned to IGN for our review.